jumping? When is it supposed to happen? In this video, you're going to learn how the jumping milestone is created, learn milestones required for jumping, and find milestone links to help your child jump optimally. Welcome to Movement Lesson. Find our links in the description below. One of the reasons we're about the 12 months of milestones is to get your child to jump, really around two years of age. However, it is a combination of a lot of milestones. Right now, you're not thinking tummy time is jumping, but gravity is a non-optional force from the day we're born, right? So we're here, we're learning to lie down and roll over. We're not when we're swaddled, we're not when we're hicked up to an IV. And then all of a sudden I go to reach for something and I'm rolling over and I'm coming down, right? Now I go into grabbing my feet. Grabbing my feet, right, and doing this movement, right? This is jumping. Why? Because I'm learning how to come off the floor and do it with the least amount of effort. And to do so, I need rotation. How does rotation come in here? My left tush goes down and my right foot goes up in a rotation right? And the same thing with my arm. I do not reach like this. I do not grab my foot like this. This is stuff you do at the gym and you just stop talking because it's a crunch, right? Babies are just here and they're cooing and whatever. Skip to sitting. I can just take this movement and roll and I'm up. I can roll and come back down and grab my feet again, right? This is again a pre-jump because guess what? What am I learning to do? My feet are going down, my head's going up and vice versa. I look like a giant seesaw when I'm doing it right. I see babies as clever as this. This is not a milestone. They're literally, they know they're supposed to be getting up and, and even at eight months old, they're trying to grab their pants. That's not coming to sitting, right? Coming to sitting is literally, I'm just sort of rolling to sitting because I'm not bracing off of here. Right around five and a half months, your baby will like to sort of not jump in your life. I want to uh, laugh. I want to say bob up and down. They should be at this point saying, pick me up. The biggest warning sign going into two vertical milestones, I go to this and I slouch. Pick me up, kind of thing. But in your lap, if you hold them by the waist, they're doing this. And they're kind of just doing this. I don't want to plank. That's, that's, not, that's not standing, that's planking on your lap. What it is, is that I am starting to cross a giant midline. My pinky is going up, up below and my thumb up. This is feeding myself, but this is also jumping. Your jumping won't happen if your visual midlines don't happen. So again, you fix your eyes or cross your eyes and you try and jump, you can't even catch air, right? Versus again, if you're doing this kind of thing and jumping around in your kid, jumping down and jumping up. All of these things are milestones as your child's playing with that. But the first thing that they'll do, and I'm gonna come over here, they're on a stair. Again, they're learning gravity. This will be the first stage. They kind of fall off the steps. And they might fall down on the steps and they're like, ah! And then they get back up and they're here. And then they're just, again, to them, that's a jump because they're going from different planes of gravity and eventually they will go to jump off. And once that happens, then they can start jumping. But if you think your child just missed all that and you're now gonna spend a lot of money on therapy to get jumping, this is why you're in the Fast Start program. You need those foundations, thanks. To learn more on milestone creation and optimal development, find our courses at movementlesson.academy.